Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. Today, I'm gonna show you how to move your character up, down, left, right, and stopping by swiping using no code. If you're learning how to make games, Buildbox free, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I also wanna give a shout out to Hanno Max and his YouTube page. This is where I go to look for information, insights, watch his videos and subscribe. In addition, links to the new BuildBox API. Check it out, <laughs> the links are down below. I'm trying to have simple goals so that I don't get overwhelmed with BuildBox because there's a lot going on and keeping it simple keeps me motivated. Let's take a look at what we have right now. The character is moving forward and you can swipe it left and right goes through the finish line and level complete. Let me go and grab this Invisalign asset. Just by deleting the 3D model right there, we'll make it invisible. Next, we want to have the character move by swiping up, down, left, right. Seems easy enough, but this actually took me a couple hours to figure out. Special thanks to Hanno Max. Here we have when the character starts, this is the move node and this causes the character to move forward here you can even see it right over here and then we have the touch move and this is where we're able to touch the screen and move it left and right which is great for some games but again not what i'm looking to do today so let's go ahead and delete the touch move the move node and the bounce node because not even using that one anyways the first thing we want to do is grab under four way simple okay now and then let's go ahead and have a move node Oop, nope that's touch move we just want a regular move node and then negative 10 is up so we can have move up now do be careful, I have seen issues where if you just straight copy a node, sometimes it doesn't completely copy correctly. Keep that in mind when you're copying. So I'm just gonna copy this node multiple times. And now I know that if there's any issues, I will have to go back and just grab a fresh node. So I'm gonna move, change this one to move down. This one will be moved left. We'll make that zero and then X is negative 10. And this will be moved right, Z to zero and X to 10. If you're thinking we just need to connect these easy peasy, you would be incorrect. Connecting these all together will not get the results I want, but I wanna show you what happens so you can understand exactly what's going on within these nodes over here. Up, down, left, right. And let's take a look. So there I moved it up and to the right and then to the left. And you can see it's moving at angles. And then I actually don't want it to go through the walls. So let's stop. What is happening? When the game begins and you swipe in a certain direction, let's say up to move up, your character is now moving up. This movement node will continue to happen so the character keeps moving up. Then when you move left, the character will move left. However, it is also moving up. So it's moving up and left because I don't want this to happen both at the same time. I want the character to move up and then if I want the character to move left, I want it to stop moving up and then only move left. And then if I want the character to move down, to have the character stop moving left and move down. And then if I want the character to move right, have it stop moving down and move right. Now what you need here is an advanced node called a state machine. So let's grab that out here and disconnect these. And in a second, I will touch on how to get the character to stop moving through the walls. A state machine is pretty cool because what it does, it activates each node one time as opposed to consistently calling on the node to move up and continuing that movement up, causing an issue to where if you move left or right, you will move at a diagonal. This will fix that problem. Here, I'm gonna change it up, down, left. It's good to name these accordingly so that if you want to later maybe adjust something with JavaScript, 
it knows the names of the items. So here I'm just gonna connect up to up, down to down, left to left, right to right, and here. Again, the state machine will call these movement nodes one time and not consistently over and over, which is what causes the issues of the character moving in a diagonal. If you want your character to move in a diagonal, you don't want to use a state machine. So let's check it out. Character's moving up to the right. Oh, goes through the wall. So we do still need to fix that. As you can see, there is no diagonal movement happening here. And the swiping is as I would like it. We hit the level complete. If you remember, I deleted the 3D object that was there. So it's now essentially an invisible object. How to get the ball to stop moving. There's different ways you can affect different objects using different nodes in particular objects. And since we were talking about the movement of the character, we wanna keep all that in the character. Now this is really cool. This is where I grab the if statement. So where is it? If, now you have if the object collides with the asset wall, we're gonna need another move a move we want, you know, move, stop, then this will be zero. You want to connect it to the state machine. Let me show you what happens if you do not. It just doesn't work. Make sure that is set up. Yep. So now going to the state machine, add one here, stop. Oh. When entering text in a node, you may have to try it a couple times. Build box is still buggy. See, there we go. That's not, see, it's not letting me do it. S T R S T O P. Oh, capital S T. So if collide to wall, stop here, goes through the state machine, and voila. And let's actually go into the 3D world. I created a little something something and let's play test it. Look at that. Moving objects in the 3D world. Level complete. And that is the correct way to swipe move a character in Billbox 3. If you're playing with Buildbox 3, let me know what you're playing with. What are your impressions on Buildbox 3 so far? All right, I hope you enjoyed that because I sure did. I got this game idea in my head and slowly but surely I'm getting the mechanics down to make it happen. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.